let us say namaste and dhanyawad to one more person who is the G20 Sherpa who who shouldered shepherded the big new delhi declaration amitabh kanji namaste dhanyawad and congratulations uh, is it now sinking in that you've uh, achieved what was seemingly looking like impossible even on the night before uh, the day of the summit well it was difficult it was very very tricky but uh, i think uh, as a team we've managed it and it's been largely possible uh, because uh, uh, of india's great stature today and because of uh, uh, the prime minister's own uh, uh, you know his credibility in a democracy being very high and i think i work as the sherpa to the prime minister so because his stature was high i could take many risks i could uh, uh, bulldoze a little bit and i could i could uh, get everybody together uh, you know the emerging markets uh, got together and uh, we had good negotiators and i think we really pushed hard because brazil indonesia uh, south africa and india all of us when we get together we bring a lot of power and then uh, I realized that as we went along, Saudi, Turkey, Argentina, Mexico all joined us to say that we will not allow G20 to be wrecked. It will not be a divided house. It will be a voice of consensus, and that brought everybody together. We had many challenges while we were negotiating, uh, and in the final stages, I think it went up about minimum 15 times, up and down, up and down, up and down. But I think. uh we were just fortunate to have clinched it so i think uh it was to my mind i give a lot of credit to this because of the elevated uh stature of india and also because i was working as really the sherpa of the prime minister his his personal credibility was very high and i could pull it off uh, amitabh ji uh, dr shashi tharoor has been quite lavish in his praise for you on th- uh, on on twitter he said the foreign services loss is the is's gain and that uh, he hinted that even the night before uh, it was not ready but it eventually was uh, is that true if i may ask yeah, that, that's true actually uh, we got into the final round of negotiation at about 11:30 uh, next day morning was the leaders conference and uh, there was just no time but we took it to brinkmanship uh, but important thing is that uh, it's not about ias or foreign service mm-hmm. we are all working for the country and uh, we are all working uh, if essentially uh, to ensure that india wins and i had a team of uh, very good officers yes. i had uh, nagraj naidu i had inam who worked with me and they were they were all uh, nagraj is a top class dra- his drafting ability is world class uh, uh, inam's ability in terms of sheer enthusiasm and positivity is top class and then i had sitting right and left to me uh the brazilian uh sherpa mm. who's who's a renowned diplomat and i had zen who's a south african sherpa his skills on international law are are truly outstanding so all of us and then i brought in jani who's a indonesian sherpa mm. all of us worked together as a team uh, and eventually it's not just uh the prime minister he, he you know mm. it's not just the indian prime minister but it's all four prime ministers their stature counted so prime minister led from the front and then we had the courage to say that uh, uh, this g20 mm. must be a g20 of consensus that's what the prime minister had told us mm. and therefore we made it a full g20 of consensus uh, mm. you know it's also a big win for multilateralism mm. it's a big win uh for the developing countries there this is a document that has been produced is a voice of the global south and the developing countries uh it's loud and clear on that count mm. and it's a uh, it's really a voice for growth and progress and it's it's a call for peace in many ways